Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a fun one for you. I am going to show you how I facetune my pictures. I think you all know that your girl loves a good facetune and I think I've gotten pretty good at it. So I definitely have some tips and tricks that I wanna share with you guys on how you can perfect your selfies and facetune and get your highlight popping and your eyeshadow popping without looking like a plastic doll. So if you would like to see how I facetune my pictures, then please just keep on watching. All right, so I'm pulling up my iPhone here and I'm just just going to start to screen record everything. Perfect. So we are going to hop right into the Facetune app and we're going to pull a picture. I already have one. I filmed this look that I have on right now and I just took some cute pictures. So I want to Facetune one. So we're going to open. I am going to go to my favorites and we're going to select the picture. This one right here. So before I bring my pictures into Facetune, the only things that I do is that I do bring it into the Lightroom app and I'll kind of color correct just my skin, uh, brighten up the image a little bit if need be, just small tweaks like that. Other than that, I do everything else in Facetune. Okay, so looking at this picture in Facetune, it looks pretty good, it's a cute picture, it shows off the eyeshadow really well, but there's definitely some things I wanna highlight and just perfect in the Facetune app. So uh, what I like to start off with is, and this is the most used tool that I use in Facetune, and that is the Tones tool. So we are gonna be playing around with that a lot in here. So the first thing that I wanna do is I want to accentuate my highlight. She's pretty poppin'. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab the Picker tool and I'm going to place that on my skin just to see like what kind of tones we're working with. And I'll actually go ahead and lighten that up just a little bit because I want the highlight to pop a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my finger and very lightly tap on my screen. Like very, you can see like I'm very lightly just like tap, 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 right over those highlight points. And just very lightly building that up. And I'll always make sure to back up a little bit before, after, before, after, go back in and out a little bit more, just right to the center, just tap, 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 adding a little bit more pressure right there, back that up, before and after. I'm gonna go in and blend that out just a little bit more. Before, after, before, after. All right, so that's looking pretty good to me. So I'm gonna leave that one as it is. Now I'm gonna go through and highlight the rest of my face. So I want to highlight my nose, go to the tip of my nose, and I try to find where it's naturally already like highlighted on my nose. So you can kind of see where it is like right there on the tip of my nose. So I'm just going to accentuate that a little bit. Yes, just like that. Before, after. We're gonna do just a little bit on the bridge of the nose, I think. Just very lightly kind of like stroking my finger. Ooh, okay, yes, not liking how that looks. So I'm gonna go back in with the eraser tool and let me try to thin that out first and then we'll see if we like it. All right, so I actually don't mind it like that. I think it looks kind of natural. So just looking before and after, before, after. All right, we're liking the way that that looks. Let's go ahead and highlight the chin. And by the way, I'm still using the same color I've been using. Highlight the chin just a little bit. And then for above the brow, this is my little trick that I have because the way I highlight, I kind of highlight like up, like in a straight line. So I take my finger and I kind of lay it flat against my phone right where I want it. And I just like go up, I go up and just very lightly tapping, going to back up. Look at that. All right. So I'm not liking the way that looks. I'm going to go in and use the eraser tool and kind of gently kind of tap over everything just to lighten up those edges. Back that up. I'll even go in a little bit more. I feel like that's a little bit harsh still. I just kind of tap out those edges. All right, another thing to know about Facetune is that you want to work in like layers or like increments because once you do something and you click done, you can't go back and undo it. At least not that I know. So now that I have the skin exactly how I want it, and I'm still not 100% happy with that forehead highlight, I might just erase it all in all. Yeah, okay, I like that much better. All right, so once I'm happy with my skin, I'm going to go ahead and click the blue little check right there, and that is one section all complete. So now I'm going to move in and still do the same thing. We're gonna go back in tones. I'm gonna to pull the same color from the picker. Perfect, that pulled white. I might make that just a little bit more yellow toned because I wanna highlight my gold inner corner. So I'm probably pick a color pretty close to that. Um, and then I'm gonna go in and just tap, lightly apply pressure, just like that. Ooh, yes, that looks good. Just kind of blend out the edges right in there. 
tap, tap, tap very lightly. So we should have something like that. There we go. That's still a little intense. So I'm gonna go in with the eraser and lightly tap over everything. Just tap over the edges. That looks really good. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing, brow bone highlight, just lightly tapping. Just like that. The tones is literally my favorite tool. It like fixes everything. And I always make sure to back out my image all the way, take a peek at it. Looks good to me. Love that. And also another thing too that prevents your images from looking really fake and like, oh girl, you face too much. Is you only wanna face tune your highlights that are already naturally popping. So I'm not touching anything on the left side of my face because as you can see, that's all in a shadow right there. So it would look weird like if I added highlight to my cheek right there, like you'd be like, okay, why is that highlighted? There's no light that's hitting over there. So you only wanna highlight things or you only want to intensify your highlight that's actually already highlighted in the photo. So wherever light is naturally hitting, you can see that my face is turned this way, that's where all the highlight is going to be hitting. So I might even add some to the top of my eyebrow over here because you can actually see it over here, just like that. You see, before, after, before, after. Loving the way that that's looking right now. So we're gonna click check, so that layer is good to go. Now what we're gonna do is kind of intensify our eyeshadow, make it really pop. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the details tool. I'm gonna zoom into my eye, and the key with Facetune is such a light finger. Like, you don't want to go in and scrub anything. You want to use a very light finger and always making sure you zoom out and tap to see the before and after. So I'm taking the details tool. I'm going to really lightly just kind of tap over my eyeshadow and my eyeball, just kind of that whole area to intensify it. I'll do it on both sides. And now I'm going to go back into my tones tool and we're gonna intensify that gold on my eye. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna take the picker tool again and we're gonna place it right where like it's the most shiny part. So like right, I'm watching the color, like probably like that color will be good. And I'm just going to kind of tap over everything just to brighten it up and make it really shimmery, ooh, yes. All right, and then I'll go back into the picker and take that deeper gold kind of right next to it, and then I'll just kind of tap those edges out just to make it look even more blended. All right, I am going to smooth my skin a little bit. The smooth tool is where you can go bad really quick. So I really don't smooth my skin a lot. I only smooth out like a couple of my wrinkles, like my smile lines and my forehead, just because I don't like them. But you can still see them in the photo. So I'll just very lightly kind of tap them out. Like, and I'm very, very lightly just like tapping over. Another tip that I have for you guys, I should have mentioned this earlier on on the video, um, but is to try to take as high quality of a selfie as you can. So I used my, my actual camera for this, and that's why it's so easy to go in and edit and manipulate and why it looks so real. I feel like if you do it on an iPhone picture, it tends to look more fake, but that doesn't mean you can't take pictures on your iPhone. If you do choose to take pictures on your iPhone or whatever cell phone you have, or you know, other type of camera, you wanna make sure like light is like the most important thing. Stand next to a window, get in front of natural light. For this picture, I use studio lights to take this. So any, any type of bright light, natural light is always, always the best. Um, if you don't have natural light, the next best thing is studio lighting, but I definitely suggest trying to plan out doing your makeup and then still having natural daylight or even the sunset to take your makeup pictures because that's what's gonna make it look bomb. So lighting is key. If you have a camera, that would be great. If not, iPhone still works. You just have to be a little bit more cautious when you're editing. And also when you're taking the picture, you wanna make sure that you're taking a really clear picture. Like make sure it's not too blurry. Like make sure it's as clear as you can get it with your phone. So looking at overall, before and after like you can see it's it's very subtle changes that I'm making that have a really big impact like you can still tell this picture looks very natural because it was taken on such a high definition camera that I don't have to go in and like manipulate everything the only other thing that I'll do in this picture is I'm going to go ahead and um, a couple more things actually that I'm gonna do in this picture let's go into the eyeballs this is a really cute trick that I use for making my eyes nice and bright. I'll go back into the tones and I'll go ahead and pick a tone, do like a, the lightest tone that I can grab for my eye. So what I'm gonna wanna do is just kinda lightly tap around like a semicircle around my eye to kinda lighten it up just a little bit like that. Ooh, yes. Do the same thing on this side. Not as intense though because we have to remember that this side of our face is in the shadow. 
So you don't want to make it as intense or else it'll look like really fake. You can see how it just adds like a little pop. Then another trick that I'll do is I'll go into whiten. I don't know why the app always does this. It like moves me around. I'll go into whiten and I'll kind of whiten the whites of my eyes a little bit if I feel like I need a little pop. Okay, so now the only other thing that I'm gonna do to this picture, I'm gonna go back into the whiten tool and this is the only thing that it's okay to go ahead and scrub your finger on. So I'm actually gonna scrub my finger on the background and kind of white it out so it has a neutral background. And so my feed looks cohesive before, after, before, after. All right, so this picture is done for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and export it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you from start to finish, including Lightroom, how I edit an iPhone picture. So the picture that I just edited was from a high quality camera, which is why it was so clear and why it was so easy to edit. But on an iPhone photo, you may have to work a little bit harder. So we are going to first jump into the Lightroom app right here. This is what I use to color correct my images. Let's do this one, okay. Perfect. So when looking at this image, you can tell by zooming in that it's a pretty clear image for an iPhone. Obviously not perfect. You can't see every single pore, but it's pretty clear for an iPhone picture. So I am going to color correct a little bit. So I'm going to go into the light and I'm going to brighten this up just a hair. And then I'm going to add a little bit of contrast and I'll leave it right there. Then I'm gonna jump into color. My bedroom and my house in general, it reflects very, very green light. So I'm going to counteract that by putting in a little bit of pink. And right now I'm not focusing on the background because I'm going to white that out anyway. I'm just focusing on my skin. So I'm going to cool it down a hair. Right about there looks good. Then I'm going to bump up the vibrancy and the saturation just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna save that to our phones. Save to camera roll. You're gonna to wanna to do the maximum available. And then we're gonna jump back into our face tune over here. All right, so we're essentially gonna be doing the same things that we did with the other photo, just on this photo, but we're gonna be, we're gonna have to work a little harder and we're gonna have to be a lot softer with our hands or with our fingers when we're tapping things. Okay, so first thing I wanna do is smooth my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and take the smooth tool and just right over like my chin, that smile line, my forehead very, very lightly, just like that before, after before, after, zooming out, making sure it looks good. Awesome, just like that. Okay, so now let's go in and define our highlights, going into tones again, going back in with tones, and we're just gonna make that highlight pop just a smidge. You wanna be very light-handed with this, so before, after. So really not a huge difference right now, so we can go back in and kind of tap some more, maybe add a little bit more pressure to our fingers. There we go, so now you can see a noticeable difference. It's getting a little too light over by my hairline, so I'm just gonna tap that out. Still keeping in mind the shadows. So now we'll go ahead and highlight my nose. So you can already see where the highlight naturally is. I'm just gonna emphasize it, just like that before, after. So that is already really freaking bright. So honestly, there's not a whole lot you can do to it besides like choosing like literal like white almost. I am gonna do a little bit of a yellow tint to it. And then just do, 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 really intensifying, like right on the high points, like that. But you can see how it still looks blown out, especially on the bridge of my nose. So I'm actually just gonna kind of erase the sides of my nose and just leave a tiny, tiny bit in the center. So before, after, before, after. Awesome, so I do have a little bit of light hitting me over here. Let's do a color like that. So I'm going to do right above my eyebrows, just taking my finger and going straight up, just tap, 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 tap. Beautiful, now let's go in and do our eyebrows. So I'm gonna keep the same color because I feel like that'll work good. I'm just gonna, ooh, that was a really intense real quick. Okay, so let's go back in and erase, kind of tap out those edges, perfect. And see, I'm leaving the other side of my face completely like I'm leaving it alone because it's in the shadow and it doesn't make sense to pop a highlight over on my brow bone. Like look, if I popped one on my brow bone over here where there is a highlight, you just can't see it. Like that looks very, very fake. So we're not gonna do that. So now let's move on to our eyes. Gonna do details, lightly tapping over everything. And this I do do on both eyes. So going back in, tones. I'm telling you, tones is like your best friend. All right, so just tapping over that Gold eyeshadow, really intensifying it, making it pop. Ooh, yes. 
Okay, cool. So the selfie's looking good so far. I think the only other things that I would do to it, and this is if I felt like it, and if I like the selfie enough, I would go into Photoshop on my computer and kind of edit out those hairs, those flyaways, but it's good enough for now. So last but not least, let's fix our background. So we're gonna go back into the whitening tool. We're gonna scrub the background. So again, before, after, before, after. So very, very subtle changes. I feel like that's the key to Facetune is very subtle changes and just tweaking just a few things just to make that selfie a little extra, just a little pop of something. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This was a fun one for me to film. I thought it was kind of cool to show you the little tips and tricks I use when face tuning. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. All of my information will be down below if you would like to follow me on social media. Please do. It's like one big happy family. So please go follow me and say hi and let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. I will see you in my next one. Mwah! Bye.